Illegal immigration is on the rise in Canada once again as our legal immigration system hits the skids. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. We have an immigration system in this country that we should be proud of. It's one that we have been proud of in the past. It's one that brought my family to Canada years ago before I was born. My parents came to this country. And it's a system that has helped so many millions of people around the world start and develop better lives in this country. But right now, it's a mess. Let me show you some of the stats on this. If you are a skilled tradesperson looking to come to Canada, right now it's about 43 months to process your application. That's almost four years of waiting just so that you can get your application approved. When I asked my mother how long it took her and my father to come to this country back in 1968, she said it was a couple of months. That's what it took. Now, remember, that's at a time when you had to fill out paperwork that might be sent across the ocean. They didn't have fax machines, they didn't have emails, and they were going across the ocean. We were more efficient back then, even with high numbers back then. Now, we've got a backlog system. More than 2.4 million people are waiting to get their applications processed to come to this country. That's a bit of a disaster. Now, compare that to Roxham Road. This is the illegal border crossing in Quebec that's been going on since 2017. It disappeared pretty much at the beginning of the pandemic, but it's back with a vengeance now, and more than 100 people a day are coming across. It is so bad that Quebec has said once again, we can't handle the strain that this system is putting on us because 3,500 people a month, you put them into social housing, the province is required to look after them, schools are being filled up, social services stretched. So what are they doing now? They're transferring people to Ontario once again, shipping folks to uh, Ottawa and Niagara Falls as a way to deal with it instead of dealing with the actual problem and illegal border crossing. Now, these people come across and claim refugee status. Most of them are not refugees. What this is are people flying into JFK Airport in New York City, hopping on a bus to Plattsburgh, New York, where they catch a cab up to the Canadian border crossing because there is a ring around the world explaining to people how to you know, rig the system in Canada, how to get around our immigration rules, which, as I said earlier, are a disaster. They are taking far too long. The Trudeau government is having issues on many fronts. They can't get a passport to our citizens. We can't get into the airport easily due to security screening problems. We can't get off the planes properly when we come back to the country because of customs issues. We are having issue after issue. And now the immigration system this is another example of the Trudeau government not being able to get basic services right. Don't worry, though, we're banning single-use plastics. Look, I want a government that is competent, regardless of who's in power. You're not always going to like the party in power, but you want them to be able to get basic services right. In this case, we can't, because legal immigration is broken and illegal immigration is flourishing. If you don't think that's a problem, maybe you've got to re-examine your values and your priorities when it comes to this government. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below, share this on social media, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.